Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Joel. I'm Gavin. I'm Daniel. I'm Grandpa. I'm Mimi. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. At this moment, we are working on getting Callie some breakfast. She's pretty excited about breakfast. We're doing some running around in the kitchen, kind of our morning routine. Uh, but today is gonna look a little bit different because I'm gonna be taking care of the chores by myself. Speaking of that, I gotta go. Love you, hon, I'll see you later. Bye. Now the reason why I'm gonna be by myself today is my brothers and my dad went to the York Farm Show. Now I had just gone to the Harrisburg Farm Show, so I thought it was only fair that they get to go to the York Farm Show and I stay home and take care of animals. The Harrisburg Farm Show had more animals, which I knew Callie would like. I don't think Callie would be as interested in the equipment as she was in the animals, because she was pretty excited to see the animals. I don't have too much work to get accomplished. It's mainly just taking care of the animals this is what I'm gonna be working on because the farm market is not open today, which is kind of a big weight off my shoulders because whew, if everybody went to the farm show, I'd be in trouble. So this morning before they left, I had to actually ask them, you know, how much milk do the calves get? And I had to go over some of that stuff. He gave me all the instructions I need, so we'll be good to go. Why is that chicken running around? Back up, bread. Come on. Get back in there. Well, this morning's going good so far. Uh, there was a calf out, and I literally just got licked to death. Now, I've also got four calves in the other greenhouse that need milk yet. And now we're ready to head over there. Hey, what's up, you big babies? On here. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Since I'm by myself, the first thing I wanted to get done was the calves, so they're not yelling at me all morning. I don't know if you hear it sometimes in the background, but they get loud. calves are now all taken care of and I'm gonna close up greenhouse number five because those calves get out today I'm not chasing them all over the valley I ended up closing the door on greenhouse number six too it's not that cold out it's 30 degrees there is a stiff breeze though that's making it feel colder if the Sun comes out and it starts to warm up a little bit I might come down and open up those doors but for now I'm keeping them closed doing over here oh wow, you all look pretty comfy ah! no 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 what are you doing while the skid steer loader warms up I'm gonna get these chickens fed I don't know why but it seems like there's a lot of eggs in the nest today it's probably the same as last time but every day feels like there's more eggs My dad and brother went to today is kind of far away from where we live so they had to leave pretty early this morning but by now they should be there ever since dad fixed the wheel on that it moves pretty good
This is what I like to see. We got our feeders filled on this side. We got our feeders filled over here. This is one of the new calves that we put out not too long ago. They're looking great. Got another calf over here that we put out. And I see a few more in the back. We like having that calf feeding area in the back. That way they can get away from the larger cattle. But what's nice is we still have plenty of feeder space. So if they do want to eat out here with the larger cattle, even though they may get pushed around, they can. I'm just making sure we got plenty of water. Yeah, we do. What's up, buddy? Good morning. I'm just going through my mental checklist. Both greenhouses of calves, they're taking care of pastured cattle penned up cattle I am missing something I fed the chicken I didn't collect eggs yet I think because I was in there feeding the chickens and I was walking around I was like oh I already collected the eggs yeah there's the egg baskets I put out too can you tell which nesting box is the most popular up collecting the eggs I got my first and now my second basket the animals are now all taken care of while I was uh, collecting the eggs and the chickens I noticed something strange though and that was the fact that all the straw that we had put in the nest was kicked out uh, they've been doing that for some time now and I can't ever figure out why now what's neat is not all of the nests have all the straw kicked out some nests have more some nests have less and I decided to do a little research on it because it was bugging me I'm like we put this nice bedding in here and they just kick it out and what I learned from my research is nobody really knows why the chickens kick the straw out but I did see a lot of suggestions on how to fix the issue which we may be trying some of them my only guess is that the chickens just like things a certain way some chickens like to have some straw in the nest which we do have a few nests that still have straw in them and some chickens don't like having straw in there uh, all the nests have eggs laid in them what Leia what I don't know I just think it bugs me because we put all that straw in there and then they just kick it out like why are you doing that now when I got home from the farm show yesterday I was talking to dad for a little bit and he told me I did something really exciting yesterday and I asked him I'm like well what did you do and he's like I went to the scrapyard so every time dad goes to the scrapyard I'm like oh boy what did he take this time but it was a very good thing because it's obvious that he did some cleaning up as you can see there used to be a large pile of metal here it is now gone and during your busiest points of the year sometimes you just set things down in places and that's where it stays for a very long time. But we're trying to work on cleaning things up. Now, funny enough, when I was talking to Dad this morning, he mentioned that they forgot to hook something up for the fence over on the other hill, which is funny, because, you know, we always have cattle out. And I thought to myself, you know, this is just a great excuse to take the side-by-side -side for a ride. You know, I just love going for a ride on the side-by-side. -side. But there is a forklift in the way. Not a big deal. There's a forklift a pallet of ice melt, a pallet of concentrate, and then two row markers from an old corn planter. Now here's the thing. Do I take all that stuff out and then use the side-by-side -side for a job that's gonna take like 10 seconds? Or do I just go on the four-wheeler? Cause I can just back the four-wheeler out and not have any issues. I really wanna drive the side-by-side. Fortunately, we had no cattle out, but half our fence was working. Oh well, at least they didn't get out. I think it's colder out than I thought. I went and put on this heavy jacket, and I'm still pretty chilled. Oh, 
now that that's taken care of, I'm done for the morning. Look at all these buckets. I don't even need to guess what day it is. It's definitely manure day. What's up, horsey? Good morning. Do you know what day it is? Yeah, it's manure day. No, Joel, it's a Tuesday. What are you talking about? Good morning, buddy. Look at that ear. That's a big ear. Yeah, come on, bud. That is either a big horse or Joel has gotten smaller since I've seen him last. Won't make speculations. What is up, little donkeys? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Hey, buddy, you got, I got you, there you go, perfect. So how is the stable life? Today it is pretty stable. That's all I needed to hear. All right, I'm out of here. Down around back again, we were working on evening chores. After I got finished with morning chores and doing some running around, I was uh, working on editing for a while. So that took most of my afternoon, but now that I am finished with that, it's a great opportunity to get the chores done. It's basically the same process as this morning, except I do not need to run skid steer loader in the afternoon. Yeah, you're ready. Jump back up. Back up, don't spill it. Thank you. Just got finished with feeding cattle for the night and Daniel just got home. So did anybody recognize you there? A lot of people recognized us. Did dad buy anything? Unfortunately not. Oh my, if there he is, there's the slacker. How was your day? I had a good day. All right, everyone. Uh, I forgot to record what we were having for dinner last night, uh, but now I'm gonna show you what we're having dinner tonight. We are having the Oaks family version of General So's chicken with some rice. And since everybody's at the dinner table, that means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I would like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>